So hello all, today we're wanting to run some tests on three well-known air purification units. We've been getting a lot of questions from our customers as to which machine they should buy. Um, so here we have a Woodpecker Q3, we have a Radicate Virus Killer VK401, and lastly we have an IQ Air Clean Room 250. So the test I'll be doing today will be using an airborne particle counter. So this would be measuring particles in the air, um, so test the efficiency of each um, machine here. There's a lot of claims being made. Um, whilst this test doesn't test everything, some of these machines will claim to kill the viruses, uh, sorry, claim to kill particles, but this will give a fair independent verification test as to the efficiency of its filtration systems in each machine. So I'll go ahead and turn this unit on, <clears throat> wait for it to start up. So currently in this room, um, we've got approximately 38,000 37,000, 40,000 particles in the air, so that's averaging about 38, 39,000. And I'll now go ahead and turn on the Woodpecker Q3 machine. <clears throat> Point to note, it does have a remote control, but doesn't really work until you hold it very, very close to the back of the unit. So I'll be running every machine at full power as a fair test. There we go, it's full power. It's quite a noisy machine. And if I put the reader up to the grill, you can see that drop there. So that's gone as low as 2,000, 2,500. So you can see there, reduction from approximately 38,000 down to 2,000. Next up, the virus killer and again the general air is reading 37,000 so we'll go ahead and turn this virus killer on it's on its highest fan setting which is number three and we'll now put this reader on the output grill there you go it's now reading 5,000 so it's gone from about 38,000 down to 5,000. Mm. And lastly, we will test the IQ Air machine. So currently in the room, we've got again, it's about 35,000 particles in the air. I'll now go ahead and turn this on. It's on speed five, which is its high setting, 310 cubic air, cubic meters of air per hour. I'll now put it on the output of the machine. <clears throat> and you can see this has dropped down to zero, which is quite remarkable. And it appears to be holding it consistently at zero. So that's very interesting. It's removed all the particles from the air. Just try another point on the grill just to make sure that's a correct reading. There we go, it's dropped again down to zero. So that concludes our simple test for today, testing for airborne particles. Um, it's very important that manufacturers are making very significant claims, a lot of them, so it's important to verify these. So before you buy, it's worth getting them independently tested. I hope that was useful.